Welcome to Praxis Group International. My name is Mr. Hearn, and I am your TOEFL tutor. Now, I've been a professional TOEFL tutor since 2007, and it is my mission in life to help you pass your TOEFL IBT. In this video, we're going to talk about the TOEFL IBT listening section and the things that ETS does to trick you out of your high score. And believe it or not, it has nothing to do with your English abilities or your abilities to take notes. We're talking about the psychological aspects of the TOEFL IBT. Now, before I get into that, I would like to remind you, please, if you find this video helpful, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell because I'm making new videos all the time. All right, so let's get into it. The TOEFL IBT listening section can be intimidating to some people because for one thing, they have different topics that maybe you're not familiar with or you don't like, right? It's like, oh, I hate this subject, right? So psychologically, you listen to something and either you're thinking, oh, this is a really hard subject. I hated this subject in school. I'm not good at this. Or they're using words that you don't know. Or maybe you know the subject and it's boring. Either way is irrelevant because ETS does not make these passages based on reality. For example, did you know that, let's say you are hearing about a subject that you're an expert in and you're like, I don't need to listen to this lecture. I know everything there is to know about this subject. But when you get to the choices, there will be choices that are true in the real world, but not according to the passage you just heard. That's right, ETS modifies passages from real world situations to make it different on the test. So if you think you're answering questions based on what you know, they are gonna trick you. So you need to understand that psychologically, they're beating you in many different ways. There's another thing that ETS does. You're listening to these passages. You don't know what questions are going to ask. And so you're taking a lot of notes. Does this sound familiar? You're taking notes of everything, trying to cover all the bases. But while you're taking notes, maybe you miss something. Or maybe there's a word that you don't know how to spell. So while you're thinking, how do I spell this word? You're missing things that are being said. And now you're thinking, oh my God, I missed something. I'm not gonna be able to answer this question. And I'm gonna to to take this test again. And while you're thinking those things, the lectures are going really fast and you're missing even more things. And that causes a cascade of anxiety. And that anxiety is gonna prevent you from hearing the next thing that you need to know. And that will prevent you from answering questions. Much of this stuff, we don't even know consciously, right? It, helps, it happens in our, in our subconscious. So you wanna be aware that ETS is trying to trick you and draw you into feeling uncomfortable, to feeling anxiety, to feel that you've missed something. Also, have you noticed that they make the questions in a very confusing way so that when you're listening to the questions, you don't really understand what they're asking? And then you're looking at your notes and you're like, I don't even know where this is in my notes because you have too many notes. And then all the choices either look right or wrong. That is by design. That is by design to trick you into having anxiety and extra self-talk, which causes you to run out of time. When you're saying to yourself, oh my God, where is this in my notes? I can't find it. This is terrible. I'm going to get a low score. All of those things are built into the test. They put things in the test to create that negative counter self-talk and that wastes your time and steals your confidence. So I want you to be aware of these things because when you are aware, you can do something about it. If you'd like help with doing something about it, I'm really good at helping you to find out what it is that you are having difficulty with and make those little fine tune adjustments that will take you from scoring maybe an 18 or a 19 or a 20 in the listening section to scoring a 24, 25, 26, 27. If you've been stuck at 2021 and you just cannot get past 20 on your, on your listening section, 
believe it or not, you can easily, well, I shouldn't say easily because people think, oh, that's not possible. It's possible for you to jump from a 19 to a 24, 25, and with a little practice, and I'm talking only four or five practice tests. I know that maybe you've been practicing 10 hours a day. Stop it. That's insanity, right? It's stealing your life away. When you know what to do, you can practice just a little bit and it works. Practice an hour a day, not 10 hours a day. Okay. When I teach you exactly what to do, and that's what I do. I teach you exactly what you need to do to take just the notes you need to answer the questions. You see, ETS has very specific rules and patterns for how they do things. So if you know how they give you the information in the passages and how they ask the questions at the end, you know what to listen for and you're going to write less, right? That is, you're going to take fewer notes and use those notes to answer the questions quickly, easily, and accurately with confidence so that you can get a higher score in the listening section. All right, that's it for now. What I want you to do is make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you would like help, there are options. You can go to my website where I've got the online video course that tells you step-by-step -step how to do every single question on the TOEFL IBT. If you'd like a little more help, or maybe you need a little moral support, right? Maybe you're feeling down because of the test tricking you so many times. You can contact me directly at my email address right here and ask me for help. We'll have a little Zoom meeting. We'll talk about it. And I am always here to help you. So please contact me. I look forward to hearing from you.